Howdy. I'm Sean Haw and I'm a Libertarian running for U.S. Senate in North Carolina in 2014. And when I say we need to stop all war, I don't just mean literal war, I mean metaphorical war as well. Culture war. Living in a state of constant war has affected how we think. You're always looking for people with whom to be at war. And now we are constantly at war with each other. Look, there is no political solution that starts with the other half of the country dropping dead. We need to stop being at war with each other. The only way we are ever going to have any chance of solving our problems is if we try to reason with each other. That means we have to try to understand each other. And that means we have to accept that everyone, even people who disagree with us, are all human beings worthy of some dignity and respect, just like we are. If there is one thing I could change about public discourse, it would be for people to start thinking in terms of right and wrong instead of good versus evil. Because you know when somebody is wrong, well, you might could reason with them. You can explain to them why they're wrong and hope that they'll learn something and get right. And maybe you might find that you were wrong and you'll be happy to get right yourself. But evil, oh, evil must be utterly destroyed. I mean, shoot first and ask questions later. Go to war with evil and never question that we are good. I'll be thrilled if we can completely eliminate the war mentality from our political views. After all, we've seen how terribly this whole war, war on drugs business has worked out for us. I and mean, once I started running for Senate, I started talking to friends about wanting to stop all war. One conservative friend of mine asked me if that meant I was going to do something about the war on the preborn. Well, and just the other day, I was in Whole Foods talking to a friend of mine who works there, and she asked me if that included the war on the environment. I mean, both times I, I just had to show him the face fall. No, no, there is no war. There is no war on the preborn. There is no war on the environment. There is no war on women. None of that stuff. Sure, there are a lot of things that are very, very wrong about public policy, and I'll be talking about that plenty on the campaign trail. But people, let's not kill each other over this stuff. We need to stop being at war in every aspect of our lives and know that there are people in government and the media who have a vested interest in promoting culture war. After all, conflict makes great headlines. Those who might want to maintain power over us when we're busy fighting over each other, the more they can get, say, liberals and conservatives to demonize each other, well, the less likely they're ever going to look at each other and realize that maybe they both have a common enemy in the people who are telling them to fight each other. Now, there are so many ways that those who want to control us try to keep us divided. There's race, gender, religion, politics, what have you. We need to stop voting for politicians that want us to be at war with our fellow Americans. We need to lay down our arms in the culture wars and negotiate peace. Talk to each other with basic human respect. We must share with each other our needs, our fears, our hopes, and our values. That's the only way we can achieve our goals in a permanent way that advances the lives of all people. I'm Sean Hall, and I am not at war. Thank you.